A few years back, when I was a kid, my mother would sometimes take my brothers and me to the beach on hot summer days. We'd collect seashells, then my brothers would hold me under the water. We'd find more shells, they'd steal my glasses, then we'd find more shells. Now sometimes, since my brothers had my eyewear, I'd mistake glass on the beach as a seashell. Then everybody would have a good laugh, at least I think it was everybody, because I didn't have my glasses. Well, now innovators are making glass a part of the beach, taking a recycling stand by turning old glass into sand. Here's Jax Tranquita to explain. Have you ever gazed at an empty pickle jar and wondered, where will this jar be in a year from now? Or in a decade? Or in a century? This can't just be me, right? It was this line of questioning that prompted Francisca Troutman and Max Stites to explore their recycling options as college students in New Orleans, Louisiana. They found that even though glass is 100% recyclable, many cities don't effectively recycle it. The result? Two-thirds of all glass in the U.S. ends up in landfills. Dreaming of a better system, Francisca and Max created Glass Half Full, a recycling facility that processes used glass into something extremely useful, sand. To learn more, I boogie down to the Big Easy. So what is Glass Half Full? Glass Half Full is a glass recycling facility in New Orleans, Louisiana. We recycle glass into sand and gravel for disaster relief, construction, landscaping, and ultimately coastal restoration. Recycling is so important to so many globally, but you're actually from here, and the recycling that you're doing specifically helps your homeland. Yeah, I grew up in a very small town in Louisiana where I didn't have access to any curbside recycling. Sand is so important here in New Orleans because every time it floods, we need sandbags to protect our homes, to protect our businesses, and then also for coastal restoration projects to build back the land that we've lost. Separated out a lot of blue bottles over here. Eager to see the magic involved in turning trash into treasure, Francisca gave me a glimpse into the process. So this is our glass mountain. <laughs> All of the glass that we collect eventually will end up in here, and then from here, we will scoop it up with our front end loader and then put it into our glass pulverizing machine. This looks like a lot of work. It is. It's quite a lot of glass, and we've actually already diverted over 2.2 million pounds of glass from landfills. Wow. After the material has been sifted and sorted, it's then used to restore eroding coasts, create art, and produce disaster relief tools. We sometimes separate the glass by color so that we can get different colors of Ooh, sand. So pretty. That is soft. It's really soft. Wow. Wouldn't you love a beach with sand like that? Yeah. But in reality, we're using this coarser sand for coastal restoration because it will stay put more easily and it won't erode as quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're actually using a coarser sand as opposed to this very fine sand. This is for luxuriating. This, yes. is for, <laughs> this is for helping nature. You can really see how you guys have reimagined the process of recycling. Exactly. I mean, the main goal for us is for people to be able to recycle their glass with us and then see, touch, and feel like what their glass actually turned into. Has anyone told you guys you're really crushing it? <laughs> oh, thank you. 